just wanted to tell you a little bit about a new chapter of my ongoing project, Govan Hill. I was um, awarded 100 rolls of Kodak Tri-X film, a film that I've not shot with for a long time. It's, it's been harder to get recently and the prices went up and up. But I got 100 rolls um, from the Film Photographic Award and I'm very excited to use them. So I decided, here they are, here, actually, yep, yeah. you see them? I knew that was going to happen. I'm very excited to use them. My plan is to make a chapter, a new chapter. So ideally, I'm going to be able to produce one portrait per roll. So 100 portraits from this. Now that's quite a challenge, especially the way I shoot. So we'll wait and see how I get on. So exciting day, here we are. Um, I have just received the first batch of negatives. So I sent away 10 rolls of film um, and I have now received them back. I don't get contact sheets, I just get the film processed. So I'm going to need to scan these, but here we go. I was going to do an unboxing video. I know the internet's a big fan of unboxing videos, but I was too, too eager and I opened them already. But here we have the negatives. I'm hoping that there's something good on these. I have a rough idea what's on them. And I wrote down everybody that I photographed, but with film, you're just never sure. So it could be disastrous. I don't think so. So before I scan these negatives, I just want to have a little think about which one stood out to me. I was really nervous to start this new batch of film. Um, because I wanted the first roll to be good. Sometimes when I'm out walking, it happens and I maybe shoot three portraits and sometimes I get nothing. And the pressure was on a little bit, you know, to make this first roll good. Just internally, I wanted it to be good. So it was a sunny day um, and across the street in Victoria Road, I saw two men sitting on a stair and they looked similar. So I went over and it turns out they were identical twins, James and Brian. So I've got a good feeling about that one. I was really excited to meet them. They were very open to being photographed uh, and I made the portrait. So that one I think is going to be good. Another standout one just in my mind is of Vinny. Now I met Vinny at a cash machine. When you're doing street photography, don't approach people at cash machines. So I waited uh, and Vinny stood out to me because he had one of these jackets with the goggles. I just thought it looked brilliant. But also, he just had his nose broken. And um, how do you ask someone to photograph them uh, who's just had their nose broken? Uh, but I did, and Vinny agreed. And I'm excited to see that. There was something just felt good about that. Okay, let's go and scan these negatives. I'm going to do that again, that's terrible. <laughs> so let's go and scan these negatives, find out what we've got. images um, you have too what do you think I'm really excited I'm really happy I would say with row one uh, James and Brian it turned out exactly how I saw it I think it's a really good start to the project so super delighted with that really happy with the shots of Vinny as well uh, I think they're really quite strong 
So yes, one of the best shots I've ever shot for now. I'm really happy with with most of the portraits actually. I'm happy with. I think there's something something good in them all. So we'll see what the the next ninety rolls bring. Uh, hopefully you can stay tuned and follow this this journey of one hundred rolls with me. I really like that that at this stage I've looked. I can look back and see, well, actually there's something good there. And that's a bit of a milestone. And that's why I divide the projects up into sections like this. Um, so I can look back and when things aren't going so well, uh, then I can always remember what I've done and, and that will give me the motivation to carry on. So 90 rolls to go. Who knows what's going to appear on them? We shall see.